Heads up, 20 ups, it's Saturday! TJ, that was awesome that you did the uh, the paraplegic for a day. I haven't found the video yet, but I hope to have time this weekend. I was thinking, like you did your your paraplegic video for your project for awesome video, and I was I was wondering if maybe if everyone was interested, maybe this year we could do it as the collab channel, like have everybody figure out what we want to do, what group we want to do the the our project for awesome video for, and then as a as a collab group actually do the video so everybody everybody would take the video clips and then send their video clip to one of us and then one person would clip it all out and then that would be our project for awesome video for for the uh, collab channel if you guys are interested that'd be a really cool idea Jens, um I'm sorry you have a cold that really sucks having a cold oh it's horrible you said your favorite character for Harry Potter was uh, Luna and Luna really was one of my favorites and she was she was right up there near the top uh, I would have to say probably Lupin or Tonks would have to be one of my favorites. Or Dobby. You mentioned that you would read the, the Twilight series so you could make an opinion on it. I'll admit, I've read all four. Um, when the third one came out, my mom had noted that there were werewolves in them, and it's one of my favorite books and, and overall fantasy character types is, is uh, lycanthropy. So I really wanted to see what the author's take on, on werewolves and everything would be, which I think she had a really creative way of writing it. Take everything at face value when it comes to Twilight, because I didn't exactly like everything that was in it, but I did like some of the concepts that she had. Um, when it comes to to making movies into books, I, I definitely agree they're not they're not anywhere near what you expect them to be after you read the book. Hopefully the things are getting better. Like with The Hunger Games, the author is working very closely with the director and the casting director. Hopefully with The Hunger Games, with the author being more involved, the movies will have some some similarity to the books. I hope they do, because I really enjoyed the book. So Danielle, for the storms that you guys have been getting over in DC, um, I've been extremely lucky. I'm, I'm up here underneath the S in Minneapolis. The storms have been swooping down and then coming back up into Nashville and the Ohio Valley, but always staying south of me. So when you guys have been getting hit, like like even even Greg in uh, New York, he's been getting hit too. But <laughs> because all these low pressures have been getting pushed down below Chicago and into the Ohio Valley, I've been like warm, sunny days when the rest of you guys have been getting the, the crappy weather. So it's, it's pretty cool that it's just been swooping underneath us all winter. Maybe when you fine-tuned your Harry Potter rant, we can do like a rant-themed week. So all of us would have to do a rant with you. Then, then it wouldn't be like singling you out as the person who rants about things. It would be everybody would have a rant about something, like a soapbox to stand on of their own. Um, for the school spirit question, I don't think I really had a lot of school spirit while I was in school, but now that I go out and record sports for the local NBC station during during like football season and basketball season, I find that I do have more school spirit. So say my hometown is playing against like one of the big rivals, I always try to make sure that I get to go to that game to record for. And our sports guy is really, really cool about letting us go where we want to go because most of us are local. So when he sends us out, we usually hit up one or two games in the area and then bring bring back the video. But yeah, I love to hit my hometown games more often than most of the other ones. Rima! So I did eventually get to have cookies. Uh, I think we made them Wednesday. No, Tuesday. We, we made them eventually. And then, <laughs> then once you said they were binge cookies, it made it that much funnier because we made a lot of cookies and we, we did sit and binge on them. Lots of milk, lots of cookies. It was really good. I guess I can thank your gallbladder for uh, for, <laughs> for the inspiration to have binge cookie night. So your Veda about uh, Hogwarts houses was really cool. I, I think I, the message I left was the, that I found it extremely hysterical when you said your dad was a pessimistic Gryffindor, which is awesome. I, <laughs> I really enjoyed that that description. For the shows that I grew up with in the, in the 90s, everybody <laughs> everybody's covered quite a few of them like uh, Spongebob, which which did start in the 90s, late 90s, but 90s. Some of the other ones I, I wrote down were uh, like Rugrats, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, 
Hey Arnold, which um, I think Craig said, and uh, like Saved by the Bell and Rocket Power and Reset. A lot of like the NBC and ABC shows because we used to watch them every Sunday morning. And then some like the Nickelodeon and Disney Channel shows. I also, <laughs> I also watched the Golden Girls. The 90s was also when I was really big into like Star Trek uh, The Next Generation. And Next Gen is really the only Star Trek that I really got into. I know it's horrible that I didn't really get into Voyager or any of the other newer ones, but I didn't really like the older Star Treks either, so I, I guess I'm just a huge Captain Picard fan. The 90s, I think, was also the time when I started getting into anime, so like Cowboy Bebop, Trigun, stuff like that. Lucy! I know how it feels. I haven't sung in so long that I, I think if I tried to hit like the high E's and stuff that I used to, I would really have a problem doing it now. Um, thanks for saying my job was awesome. It, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, until, like, an alarm goes off. Really? <laughs> for the whole three inches of snow thing, I was down in Georgia. I think it was probably like 07, 08. And we got not even an inch of snow. And I'm from northern Michigan. An inch of snow... Yeah, that, that's like go out in shorts and a t-shirt weather. They closed everything. Macon, Georgia, right out, right outside, or right outside of the Air Force Base there, just south of Atlanta. And yeah, they closed everything. Everything was closed. So I had to ask my friends what kind of things, what kind of rude insults they would give to a school whose mascot was the beavers, because really, when you first said it, I couldn't think of anything. But now that I've asked the friends, I, know, I I have a good idea why you wouldn't say any of them on the channel. Craig, uh, I don't think it matters if you're late. I mean, it was still before Midnight West Coast, so I don't think there's any like set rules or anything or punishments, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. For the juggling thing, I was once told that it's the whole ADD thing. I, I'm not really ADD, but I do have a lack of uh, concentration. I, I easily forget what I'm doing or move on to the next thing without finishing the first thing. Okay, yeah, it's probably ADD. So I was told once that juggling or doing something that required concentration would help with the ADD. So that's when I picked up juggling. So I've been doing it for a long time. I can't, I can't juggle four balls, like anything more than three. Like I can't juggle more than three balls because I can't do two with my left hand, but um, I can do things like this. For the question you asked, I live right here. I live in Traverse City right now. So like, yeah, in the pinky. And sort of on a side note, I love your fedoras. I'm not sure if you have different ones that you wear in different videos, but like the one you had on today was awesome. And it looked like you were wearing a jacket to go with it, which is even like cooler. So I think that's gonna be it for me for now. I will see you guys next week, and until then, I'll get to see all y'all's videos this week, and DFTBA.